Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. This is the final page protector for the Pocket Advent Exchange swap that I did um, in 2019. What I'm doing is just getting out some letters to label my pockets. If you guys haven't seen any of the other videos in this series, I suggest go back and watching them because they will explain what this whole thing is about. But I'm using some uh, letters from my stash. Those dotted and gold foiled ones are from Kmart. The wood veneer numbers are from eBay. And I've just painted them with um, just some pink paint. The 23 is um, some thickers. I have no idea what they are. And these 21 gold ones are a D. Lizzy one. They're also a thickers um, brand, but I wouldn't be able to tell you um, what it is. So what I'm doing is I'm just going through this collection of random embellishments to pick out all of the pink ones because I found with the other pockets that it was a lot easier to start with your embellishments color sorted than to have to go through them for each pocket. So I thought if I grabbed it, all the pink ones and all the craft ones, it would be a lot easier to do this pocket. And I'd suggest doing that because it worked wonders for me. So I'm just going around... Um, basically in my head sort of getting an idea of what I'm doing and I'm just grabbing out my glue gun because I did use my glue gun to stick everything down. It was a lot easier with a glue gun. I'd suggest using a glue gun if you're going to decorate the outside of the pockets like I did. You could decorate the inside but I just found it a lot easier to decorate the outside of the pocket because I could slip the little prezi in the pocket then a lot easier. This is just in another um, Christmas ephemera pack from my stash. Most of the ephemera pieces that I'm using are from the Rejects store and I think Kayser Craft and I think it's Crafter's Choice. They're all brands that you can buy here in Australia. Um, you could do this with any ephemera pack. What I'm doing is just grabbing out a white paint pen and I'm going to colour on the um, half of this alpha because I didn't want the black dotted pattern on it. Um, I've done this a lot with alphas, particularly these ones because they're harder to use. I just colour them in with my paint pen um, and then it's covered and doesn't matter because I really like the font with them. Um, if you just do it a couple of times, normally it works absolutely perfect and it doesn't come off from my experience. I'm just gluing this little bow onto this. Um, what is this? An ornament piece. It's an ornament. I'm just gluing the bow on there because I was just trying to make it a little more detailed than just a pink one because this was very very pink and um it was quite intimidating with the pink because well, it's pink obviously but um it's also just a lot of pastel pink that's in your face and it's so bright and I was going with the Christmas theme um so I needed to do little bits of white every now and again so I'm actually not going to put this flower on the number 24 pocket I'm going to put it down the bottom I think it it's number 22 um, and I'm also grabbing a another leaf I've sorted my embellishments into sort of what they are not collections or colors these are my like leaves I've also got a flower one I've got a circle one it's been working fantastic for me. Um, I love doing it. If you want a more in-depth video of how I sort my ephemera like that, I'd be happy to show you guys. Um, so like I said, I'm just doing this little cluster here down the bottom on this card because it was going to be far too big for pocket 24. If you're also wondering what this pocket is, I made it just using um, my fuse tool. I talk about that in the first video of this series if you're very curious but I just kind of measured it up because I needed um, this number of pockets so I just measured it up and I wanted to have a really big pocket for day 25. Um, I'm just hunting through the embellishments trying to find where I wanted to put pieces. I'm fiddling around with the ephemera pieces that I grabbed out because like I said I wanted to use up these pink ones and I had an idea to do um, like a like a string of ornaments so I'm going to grab out some twine from my stash it's just some pink twine um, it's by American Crafts I can't remember where I got it from 
So I've just um, cut ahead here to where I tied two bows in the string and have glued it on the top of that card. And then I'm going to glue my little ornaments across and sort of make them look like a string so they're hanging on top of the page protector. I think it looks really cool and this was very easy to do with hot glue and you can't see the hot glue at all. At least I couldn't see it. Um, so it's, it was very quick, very easy to do and makes it kind of look like you've done something very tricky and it was actually very easy to do it kind of just took a little bit of time to tie those bows but you don't have to do the bows I just wanted to add a little bit of something to the um to the string uh, so I'm just re-gluing on that uh, little bow there because it wasn't stuck down enough because I'm using hot glue every now and again I use my tweezers or a pair of scissors to stick everything down that's why my tweezers are out at the moment the tweezers I use I bought off of eBay um, they're long pointy ones that bend so it's very easy for embellishments I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with this pocket down the bottom and I end up using some tool I do not use that um, pink tree because it was getting very pink and I wanted to kind of use light craft colors because I thought it looked very very cool so I'm just sticking down number 24 on top of that tree and I'm going to embellish the tree also I've also stuck some um, hot glue on the bottom of the tree so these are some enamel dots that I'm using the really tiny ones so it looks like little ornaments that are hanging off of the tree I think it's really cute doing that I like how it looked I've done this on a card before uh, which is where I got this idea you from these are glitter um, enamel dots so I'm just going to stick that down and quickly embellish the tree I also use some tiny star epoxy stickers from my stash to put um, just sporadically over the tree as well I'm going to start working on pocket 25 down the bottom and I'm going to grab um, some glitter tool from my stash I got this in a haul um, a few months ago now if you go back into my you'll be able to see it. it's just from a two dollar shop and I'm just going to accordion fold it across the page and there it is all nice and thick and I'm going to stick down the Mary on top of it making sure I press it down really hard so that it also glues down that tool um, to the top portion I wanted to also um, stick down the Christmas as well because I wanted to cover that central piece down the bottom there um, so I just did tiny little dots of glue because it was going to be hard when you're using such an intricate word but I made it work and I'm just going to stick that down and I'm going to then add my 25 uh, down which is all from a yes there are all those embellishment pieces are from a rejects or collection uh, probably about two years ago now I would say maybe even three probably two I got them for my December daily and they didn't make it into the December daily so I'm just gluing down this don't open till December 25th onto one of the little presents that I've wrapped up that is going to go into the day 25 pocket I'm going to then stick down this cute little reindeer he actually has a uh, glitter accents on him um, I'm going to stick him down exactly where he's placed now but I was just moving things around to kind of get an idea of where I wanted other pieces to go. I'm going to use a paper flower from my stash to glue on that bow to give it a little bit more extra detail and also to add some different colors to this pocket because it was starting to look very, very pink. What I've done here is just glued down the 22 onto that little snow globe one. Sorry, not 22, that's 21. And I've decided that I'm going to move the pocket 21 down because it looked really nice with that a little flower here and then I'm going to stick down this reindeer I like how he looks like he's kind of looking back over his shoulder as he's jumping um, along the pocket that's sort of the idea I had you know he's jumping across getting ready to go to day 25 um, that was the idea and I'm just gluing down um, some random embellishments it's not um, you know too too detailed this is just my little box of um, die cuts I just kind of die cut shapes when I have tiny scraps of paper left and I've just put the 23 onto a piece of wood paper it's a circle and it has like a stitched embossed look on it um, just going to glue that down with some hot glue and where have I run oh okay this is something fancy I'm getting out a bit of um, gold 
twine and what I do is I wrap it around my fingers a couple of times like this and then I cut it um yep I cut it okay <laughs> I pull it off my fingers and I pinch it in the middle and I add a little bit of hot glue into the center of it um I'm sorry I'm doing this off camera but I would have had a video oh ages ago after this is before this came out because this is being scheduled for next year um showing you how I actually do that so sorry about that being off camera I'm also sorry about my voice um I don't know why I sound so much like I've got a cold today um so sorry about that this might not be the nicest video to listen to this is a sticker book from the reject store it's kind of just got stickers of their Christmas collections that they've had and I pulled off this pink one and I don't actually think I grab anything out of this sticker book to use because I kind of was still working on the pockets and wasn't sure what I was going to do. I pull off this sticker that says, oh, I can't see what it says, peace, joy, something, um, and just stick it straight onto the pocket. It's, it's not straight and that's really bothering me. I hope I go back and fix it. I'm going to stick that 20 in the middle of that wreath because I thought it would be really cool to decorate it with the card poking out in the background. I'm still fiddling around with some embellishments and I've stuck a um, really big white glitter star and I've just stuck down number 22 to make it look like it's in the center of the wreath. I really like how that um, number 20 pocket, I keep saying the wrong numbers, I love how that number 20 pocket um, turns out. I've also stuck down a bow on the top of it so that it looks like the bow's there and I'm adding a little bit of twine to this tag and that is going to go onto my pocket 21. I'm using a bit of twine again, I'm um, sorry, I'm using a bit of thread again just to do that same detail that I did on the number 23 and I'm going to hot glue that down. So I've stuck that down and then I've also grabbed out this little um, mason jar from um, the reject store collection this year and I'm just going around trying to see if I can get anything else to fit. I wrapped the gold thread around the 22 tag and then just stuck the 22 on top of it. I really like the way that that looks. And again, it's adding a little bit more extra color to it. I'm just putting the 18 on the bottom half of the mason jar, sticking that down with some hot glue. Yeah, this is this is quite self-explanatory. I think it's quite self-explanatory, um, but it's very pink. It's very pretty. I do really like the way that this turned out. And I hope, well, I would have known by now um, how my sweat buddy Lisa feels about it. I hope she's, I hope she enjoyed it and I hope she thought it was really pretty so I've put a hello on top of the 18 so it says hello 18 and then I've put a joy on top of the star I'm trying to use up words that are very like Christmassy words that I wouldn't use anywhere else I'm now going to embellish the wreath the same way that I did with the tree just using some epoxy stars and also some enamel dots and then um what else have I done I'm sticking down a paper flower on top of that bow the same thing that I did in the um, kind of garland of ornaments up in that top corner and I'm grabbing a sticker from my stash uh, that says lucky on it I think I do stick it down yes I'm just putting it on a little bit of hot glue because it wasn't very sticky on there and then I'm also going to use one of these Tim Holtz small talk um, stickers sorry guys I have hiccups right now um, I'm using one of these Tim Holtz Small Talk uh, little tiny word stickers under the day 20. I think that wreath pocket looks so cool and I love the way that um, it looks. I think it'd be so cool to do that with a card. But this is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I have a close up for you at the end. If you did, um, please subscribe. I've slipped in all of my presents down here this is my day 19 because I didn't have enough um, room for it next week I will have a video showing how I packaged and send this up so once again I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some inspiration on how to do this um, swap uh, thanks for watching guys I'll see you next time bye